there's no great loss without some small gain. Remember well, and bear in mind, a constant friend is hard to find. The true way to live is to enjoy every moment as it passes, and surely it is in the everyday things around us that the beauty of life lies. Never bet your money on another man's game. A good laugh overcomes more difficulties and dissipates more dark clouds than any other one thing. No rich man can walk through the eye of a needle. Home is the nicest word there is. There is no comfort anywhere for anyone who dreads to go home. Our hearts grow tender with childhood memories and love of kindred, and we are better throughout the year for having, in spirit, become a child again at Christmas time. The only stupid thing about words is the spelling of them. The real things haven't changed. It is still best to be honest and truthful, to make the most of what we have, to be happy with simple pleasures, and have courage when things go wrong. There is nothing wrong with God's plan that man should earn his bread by the sweat of his brow. We who live in quiet places have the opportunity to become acquainted with ourselves, to think our own thoughts and live our own lives in a way that is not possible for those keeping up with the crowd. We'd never get anything fixed to suit us if we waited for things to suit us before we started. Some old-fashioned things like fresh air and sunshine are hard to beat. The fact is that while there has been a good deal of discussion for and against women in business, farm women have always been business women, and I have never heard a protest. Every war is more or less a woman's war. Snow as fine and grainy as sugar covered the windows in and sifted off to the floor and did not melt. She had not known before that it takes two to make a smile. Where a light can't live, I know I can't. God hates a coward. I don't actually believe this is true, but it's something to aim for. There is good in everything, if only we look for it. Mothers always fuss about the way you eat. You can hardly eat any way that pleases them. There was no time to lose, no time to waste in rest or play. The life of the earth comes up with a rush in the springtime. Maybe everything comes out all right, if you keep on trying. Anyway, you have to keep on trying. Nothing will come out right if you don't. The candlelight was dim, as though the darkness were trying to put it out. Politicians, they take pleasure of prying into a man's affairs and I aim to please them. When gloomy clouds across the sky cast shadows o'er the land, bright rays of hope illumine my path, for Jesus holds my hand. The last time always seems sad. But it isn't really. The end of one thing is only the beginning of another. God is America's king. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Little rabbits, you know, always have games together before they go to bed. The wings and the golden weather and the tang of frost in the mornings made Laura want to go somewhere. She did not know where. She wanted only to go. Laura Ingalls Wilder, 1867 to 1957, was an American author known for her beloved series of children's books called 
Little House on the Prairie. Born and raised in the Midwest during a time of pioneering and westward expansion, Wilder's books are semi-autobiographical, drawing from her own experiences growing up on the American frontier. Inspired by her childhood adventures, the series follows the Ingalls family as they face various challenges, including blizzards, wild animals, and financial difficulties, while always emphasizing the importance of family and the value of hard work. Wilder's writing captured the hearts of readers worldwide and continues to be cherished for its vivid depictions of frontier life and its enduring themes of resilience and determination.